Hey, so today I'm here to do um, a foundation first impression type of situation. Let me just say right now, I don't even have the full bottle of this. Basically, people tell me that they like when I do first impressions videos. And so um, we're going to use this little sample that I got from, where is it, Sephora, I think. Anyway, it's for Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation. This color should match me right now. It might be like a little light, but I got to pick the color, you know, like I feel like this, this could work as a first impression. And then if I love it, then I can go actually buy the real one. So we're just gonna try it together because why the fuck not? By the way, I had um, lights on my wall. They all fell off and now they're laying on a table behind me. I don't know, I need to get something to hold them up better than tape. <laughs> okay, so I haven't really heard anybody talk about this foundation on YouTube, which is kind of weird, but uh, it had good reviews. Actually, I think one person talked about it and didn't like it, but. Okay, so what it says online is a skin loving 24 hour breathable Full coverage, natural matte, liquid foundation available in 30 color true shades. Oh, I do remember reading reviews on this and people kept saying that the, the shades were very yellowy and not good for olive undertone skin, which this one is definitely very yellowy, so I can see that, but um, with me wearing self tanner, that kind of works well for me. And it retails for $34. Kinda steep, kinda steep. You can see why I didn't buy it myself. <laughs> So I'm going to use my Ulta Fabulous Face Foundation Primer, like always. I'm actually kind of running out of it, but I don't want to buy another one yet. Okay, so I'm going to use a sponge on one half of my face and a brush on the other. I can't even open this. My hands are so greasy. Why is there cars so loud outside? Oh, this is very watery, and I like that. This might be a little light, but no, it'll be fine. I'm going to use this dirty sponge because I don't ever wash anything. Oh, is there SPF in this? Because it smells like a swimming pool. I feel like the sponge is sucking up um, a lot of it. <laughs> what is my throat doing? Am I too bright for you to see me or am I just too pale? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna try like a clean kabuki style of brush. Okay, it definitely looks better with a sponge and it definitely has more coverage with a sponge, but I really feel like uh, I have to use a lot of this. Very much creasing on my forehead, um, majorly right now, but that's why I always set my forehead. But usually things don't crease this fast. Okay, uh, yeah, looks like good coverage, really. Yeah, it's covering up like a lot of redness. I don't know if building it up is a great idea. I feel like it's going to get cakey because it is completely dry. What? I feel like I've never felt a foundation get this dry before. I'm, I'm weirded out right now. There's fucking glitter in my hair. It literally feels like nothing. Like it's so dry and thin feeling. Hmm. 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 My nose is um still disgusting. So <clears throat> do not look at that. I'm gonna set my forehead. I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Powder, but I'm gonna mix two different colors because one of them is too dark and one is too light. One is um, classic ivory and the other is new beige. I probably don't need to set this <laughs> but i always do so i will for sure especially because my uh, forehead was creasing okay that looks really good on the forehead i feel like it kind of looks dry but i think it's just because it is so matte and completely dry right now i guess i'll do the rest of my face with you because i think i, I recall people saying they liked when i did that but if not then let me know and i will link everything that i used on my face already I guess that'd just be for my eyes um, below, in case you care. Not link, did I say link? I just mean write it down. I'm not actually linking it. That takes way too long. So, um, hmm. I'm gonna use my Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer in the shade 10, I think. Yes. What are all these noises going on? And then I'm gonna set my under eyes with this Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder in the shade 110. I feel like my, um, Fit Me Loose Powder would be really light right now, even though these are in the same shade. I feel like everything going on around me is so loud, which normally it's not. So it's just like, oh, perfect. As soon as I want to make a video, everyone make noise. My neck, oh, ew. My self tanner is like, looks like it's been scratched off on my neck, which is weird. So I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in the shade 20M because I might as well just use everything I know I love so that if anything messes up, then it's the foundation. 
Did it take me this long to realize that I should like mention the shade of this? <laughs> it's in the shade 02 Dawn, which I can't remember if that said neutral undertone or yellow undertone, because I think it says on there which one, but it looks, it doesn't look that yellow because compared to my neck, my neck is more yellow. So when my neck and face do not match in tone, I take a banana powder and put it under my contour, even though I'm so pale looking right now. Whoa, my lip ring just, ooh, my lip ball ring just fell out. Oh, cool. Totally awesome. I'll put that back on later. And for blush, I'm gonna use my Tarte Colored Clay Bronzer Blush in the shade Peach Bronze. Jesus Christ. For highlighter, I'm gonna use my Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid Illuminating Highlighter in the shade 100 Light. And then I'm gonna put this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade. What is your shade? That was on the front. Blossom Glow. Yeah. I'll put that on top of it. This is my fucking shit. I love this highlighter so much. And then for lips, I think I'm gonna use this Maybelline. I feel like I've used a lot of Maybelline, but this Super Stay Matte Ink in the shade Loyalist because I feel like it kind of matches my eyes. It's like a peachy pink. I don't know. My camera's about to overheat, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, so up close, this looks stunning. It looks not cakey in any way, shape, or form. It looks like my skin and like my pores look non-existent and oh my goodness, my highlight's like so intense though. Calm down. I literally love it. It looks like my skin. It's beautiful and has like really good coverage I feel like right now so um I think that's all I have to say this looks amazing right now I probably would get a different shade though because I mean this would probably match me if I was paler but I don't know yeah probably because this is like a really pale shade I don't know but um anyway I'm gonna go throughout the day and wear this as long as I can and then at the end of the night we'll come back and see if it held up because if it did I'm gonna love this because seriously it looks <laughs> perfection so yeah I'll see you guys in a little bit Okay, so I'm back and I did realize that I never even told you what time I started doing this at. I know what time it was. It was like 3 o'clock p.m. Which is, I know, late, whatever. But right now it is like 1, 10 a.m. Wow, you probably can't even see it. Because I'm playing a video. You're just gonna have to take my word for it. Like, why would I lie? That's stupid. So, it has been like 10 hours. And, I mean, I feel like that's a pretty long time. <sighs> okay the face somehow it wore off on the tip of my nose i do not even know why i would do that i mean maybe i have kissed isaiah maybe like a few times and maybe that's what has happened because that does happen anytime like i'm kissing it rubs off on my nose but i've been at work most of the day so that's weird uh, i did notice at work though there was like no zero smile lines like this is the most that it's been which is barely anything for me um so i thought that was awesome and then the rest of my face i feel like it just looks flawless <laughs> it still looks really good just the tip of my nose were off and around my nose doesn't really look cakey it hasn't really worn off like here or here which is where it normally wears off and turns like red hmm and I'm not like oily. I don't usually get oily. Uh, I have highlighter right up in here, but other than that, um, yeah, everything's still on. <sighs> my nose is still disgusting. Ignore it. Still haven't put my lip ring back in yet. It's right here, so I'm going to in a minute. So in conclusion, I feel like this looks really good still. Is it worth the money? Hmm. How much was it? I've done forgot. Yeah, $34 is kind of um, expensive whenever I already have my Wet n Wild Photo Focus, which is like the best foundation I've ever found in my life and it is like the cheapest. And if, if something's not better than that, then I'm kind of like, why would I spend that much money on it? I was thinking about doing like a half a face of the Wet n Wild and then this one because they're like kind of similar, but you know, I might do that and try it out, but like it looks good, but it's like, is it that good? Hmm, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm just just gonna be debating on if I need to buy it or not. So I think that's all for this video. Hopefully it was helpful somewhat, maybe. I feel like it was kind of all over the place because I haven't filmed one of these in 
quite a while. I would like to film more, but I just haven't been getting like any new foundation, but when I do, I will film first impressions for you. So yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll be back soon with more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.